Hello, uh, this is a short video about the lithium, lithium ion starter battery out of a Land Rover or Jaguar. Um, I got this because it didn't work anymore, I was in the trash. Um, I don't know how it really works, but there was no power on the terminals. Uh, there is one connector in here. Uh, which seems to be some data line to the car. Uh, to actually crack it open, I went around the seam and this was actually pretty easy. I, first I expected that I have to saw or, or maybe grind off the plastic, but it was possible with, uh, with minimal uh, uh, sawing on the edges uh, and the rest I used the screwdriver and the hammer to just gently uh, push the seam apart. You can probably see it here. Um, there are connections to the top, to the terminals. Um, if you know where they are, it's probably better to unlock them first. So uh, one is, is here, you can see there was a, an M10 uh, not on there so you can actually drill a small hole in here and use a screwdriver to break this up I, I wasn't able to release it with a screwdriver from the side it's it was uh, held pretty strong with this adhesive that we can see here um, now if we lift this apart um, this actually goes to the plus terminal and is normally uh, connected you can see it here so you would need to actually loosen that bolt as well which yeah seems to be somewhere here just keep in mind that this is a lithium battery and it's potentially dangerous if you short circuit it um yeah so i measured again when i had it open um now this is Difficult again with one hand. Uh, one sec. Oh. I'll grab some assistance here. Uh, I don't find the alligator clips that I was actually looking for, but maybe it's working with somehow. Okay, that hope, hopefully does the job. So when I go over here, we can see we have 13.27 volt. Uh, as far as I know, this is a 3S configuration, so that's pretty full. Uh, if we go to the other side of that relay, uh, we don't have any voltage. So there is a relay in here. It's quite obviously a relay. It seems to be switched by some kind of VMS, I don't know, I haven't looked under here until now, so this battery was actually disabled and that's why it got thrown out. Um, yeah, so let's uh, remove this one. I already removed this, so it, it was tightened properly, no, not like it was just now. Okay, so so we can lift this one to the side as well and yeah, maybe try to disconnect that connector. I'm not sure if it actually unplugs while that module is in place, but we can at least try. Actually it does, huh? Nice. So yeah, one wire goes to that data uh, port. Then we need a hex driver. Or Allen key or however you call it. I 
Okay, that was tightened pretty strong. This seems to be a fuse, I guess. Not sure yet how to remove it, but we remove the bolt first and ah oh, it's clicked in here. Not sure what's the amperage is on, on that one. Oh, now I have the serial number exposed. This is something that I didn't want. Uh, let's put a sticker on there. So, uh, yeah, next thing I want to do is, is remove that BMS or, or, or just more of these plastic parts. Mm, I'm not sure if I can do this with one hand, actually. Okay, that went away. Ah, oh, this is... Oh, okay. Yeah, this seems to be a some kind of a bus bar. So this... Ah, okay, now I see it. It's most likely prismatic cells, uh, like this. And we have two, four, six, eight. So this seems to be a 4S configuration. Um, okay. Surprised by that because of the voltage, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, the nominal voltage. No, it's not written on the pack. Uh, no, it is. 13.6, which I believed yeah, might be, might be uh, lithium iron phosphate, then, which would be great. But I'd have more use for that. Um, okay, well, same here as on the other side. This is actually rather nice. Um, yeah, let's try to remove that center module somehow without the short circuit if possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, that doesn't remove the module, but it opens it up. Ah, now it's gone. Okay, wasn't connected anymore, so great. Uh, so there was a connector on the side as well. But I don't think that this one was used actually. Mm. That wasn't part of the Enzo. Okay, the Enzo is everywhere. Um, okay, sure. So as far as I know, the, the battery is made by Yuasa, which is Japanese as well as Denso. So maybe Denso is making the BMS for them. And yeah, I'd say this is not a not a balancer, it's just some protection because there doesn't seem to be anything uh, to, to dissipate uh, power from a cell that would have too high of a voltage. So I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like. I expect that on, on that connector I have a voltage reading of all the individual cells, which would mean that we could, or I could, uh, use this uh, as it is with an external BMS on top here and maybe even reuse the case. Or, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll dig a bit further into it, but... I think that's it for now. I, I hope this is interesting for someone and maybe helps uh, opening it up. I actually was quite, uh, I had this for quite a while and <laughs> never really, uh, yeah, was a bit scared by opening it up, but now it seems to be rather safe. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.